So well, hi there. This is now the dual gate MOSFET hooked up to my transmitter. And the dual gate MOSFET is a really neat small device. It's like a normal MOSFET, but it's designed for RF applications. And it has, unlike a normal MOSFET, two gate connectors. And what does it do? It offers you to build a modulator with it, because you can add on one gate the RF signal, and you can add on the other gate the music signal, and you will get the complete AM signal on the drain connector, right here. I'll demonstrate it. I've hooked it up to my oscillator here, and I've also hooked it up to my audio amplifier. And then now let's start the music. Okay, that is the dual gate MOSFET modulator. It does not really provide that much output power, but for small applications like a, like a, like an AM modulator or a small transmitter, it's a really neat device. Um, I think it doesn't matter if you put the RF signal either on gate 1 or gate 2. I haven't really tested it, but I think it should work on both gates. So if you put the RF signal there and the music signal there, it would work and like it built it, it worked, it works also. Okay, there's not really much more to say about the dual gate MOSFET modulator. Once again, connect source via a resistor and capacitor to ground, connect drain with a smaller resistor to plus, and connect one of the gates with a, a small resistor and one of the gates with a bigger resistor to ground, and then connect the RF signal to the gate with the smaller resistor and the audio signal to the gate with the bigger resistor, and you will get on the drain uh, along with a coupling capacitor, a really neat sounding AM signal. Okay, in the next video I'm going to demonstrate you the Colpitz oscillator. I'm sure many of you recognize this circuit because this circuit is uh, the circuit you will often find for simple FM transmitters. But as I said to you before, these FM transmitters do work. They are pretty easy to build. But this discounts also for FM transmitters that you will find on the internet for most of these one transistor circuits here, where the antenna is hooked up directly here without any filter, you will have many harmonics. And keep in mind that other uh, people are also using radio frequencies and with the harmonics it is very simple to um, generate an interference uh, on their signals. Okay, in the next video I'm going to show you how to hook up the Colpitz oscillator, a shortwave oscillator, well I've done it here with a bigger coil and bigger capacitors, and then hook it up to the dual gate feed.